Across town from where the greats of the past are enshrined, the stars of tomorrow get their chance to shine. We're inside Blake Arena in Springfield College, the birthplace of basketball for the Hoop Hall Classic. National Christian Academy out of Maryland takes on AZ Compass Prep. It's the third game of four games today. Earlier today, we saw Judamans pour in 22 points as Oak Hill took down La Lumiere, despite 20 points from Notre Dame signee J.J. Starling. And Montford triple-double from future Indiana Hoosier Jalen Hood Shafito. They dismatch of DeMath the Cattle. Matt Schick along with National Recruiting Director for ESPN, Paul Biancardi. Great matchup here tonight, headlined by a great matchup within the game. Isaiah Coleman for NCA and for AZ Compass Prep. Chance Westry is going to be playing in the SEC. Yeah, this is a strong matchup between guard power and Chance Westry, who's headed to Auburn, is a guy you got to keep an eye on. This guy is a smooth operator, tough inside, can get to where he wants off the bounce, shows three-point range, and he thrives in the transition game. Always in attack mode, Chance Westry is headed to Auburn to play for Bruce Pearl. And on the other side, Isaiah Coleman, number 40 in the ESPN 60. This guy is a tremendous vertical athlete, big time finisher, heart and soul for, uh, for Christian Academy. Keep an eye on him. National Christian Academy, the Eagles out of Fort Washington, Maryland. Talent on that roster and a bunch on AZ Compass Prep, a team that really got on the national radar, Geico Nationals, a year ago. They lost to Montford Academy, really opened the doors. Instead of them calling players, players were calling them. And it is reflected in this talent-laden roster from the team in the desert. Compass team is loaded, and I mean loaded with high major talent. We talked about Chance Westry, Dylan Andrews, big time player headed to UCLA. Number four, the AZ Compass Prep. He can play a facilitating point guard, he can score the ball, and he's all about winning and competitiveness. That's what attracted Mick Cronin and staff to UCLA. Nice pass to Rob Lawson who gets that one to fall. Tied it two. A couple of minutes into this third of our four games tonight. Good strip steal there. That's Westry. The run out. Great. They look to execute. They take good shots. They're in rhythm. Good chance to get an offensive putback. Dylan Andrews with Brandon Hilliard. Trying to navigate through traffic. This is it off to Coleman. Thank you, Carpenter. Jump shot. Got that one pure. Previously coached at Chandler High School. Played at Calumet College of St. Joseph, Indiana. Now the head coach of a highly regarded national program. Mookie Cook with a nice outlet to Westry. Powell Filipowski. That, that Duke signing class. My goodness, is that loaded. It's it's got quality quantity. It's got star power Don't forget Christian Reeves Got 11 rebounds and a bunch of blocks today for Oak Hill That's Turner Harris the 6-5 guard out of the junior class With the pilfer and the lay-in and a two-point deficit for the Eagles out of Fort Washington, Maryland Westry Oh, Number yeah. 32 in the ESPN 100. He's going to play for Bruce Pearl. He has a feel how to create space off the bounce. And a nice looking jumper. Oh, nice behind the back teammates. Playing team oriented ball. And he's Seeing got great size. Yeah. He's 6'5 plus. Cedric so, Magaga. Number 46 in the ESPN 100, top 10 power forward. Getting some looks from Memphis, ASU, FSU, Auburn, Georgetown, St. Mary's, among others. They got to clean up the defensive backboard to stay in this game. Westry with the dish. We talked about the way that he just, a 
allows others to be good. That was Colin Smith actually with the dude. I love his basketball IQ and his athleticism to mix in with his scoring skill. He's got the whole package. Marquise Cook goes by Mookie. Step back, Jay. Great as he's been for Kentucky. And they won today against Tennessee. Nice inbounds play. But he broke John Wall's record. 17 assists against Georgia. Nice early bucket there for the Eagles. National Christian Academy out of Fort Washington, Maryland. Boswell, little floater. Oh, that's pretty. Can hit the three a little bit as well. Needs to add a little strength. That'll come, seven foot, 185 pounds. There's Westry. Oh. And off to Dylan Andrews, headed to UCLA. To Mookie Cook, rattles Coach K. He looks really comfortable as a head coach, doesn't he? You can look a little more comfortable when you know you have good recruits coming in as well. That'll help uh, ease the tension and sweat under the collar. I'm telling you, it's like chamomile tea at night. It can put you to sleep. <laughs> Great moving without the basketball here by AZ Compass, but some good defense by the NCA Eagles. 13-point lead. Oh, nice feed there to Westry and one. Dylan Andrews with the steal. 16-point lead here for the Dragons. Westry cutting for three. One of 12 from three is NCA, the National Christian Academy from Fort Washington, Maryland. Nice little step through from Lamar Washington, the future Texas Tech Red Raider. Keo Carpenter gets the screen. 13 on the shot clock. Drives to the hoop. That's a nice play by Takeo Carpenter, the 6'2 shooting guard out of Virginia. Well, the last couple of possessions for NCA drives to the basket. Here comes there he is one. again. There's that man again. Left handed lay in, having himself a night. He just gives the game what it needs. He reads the possession so well and makes the simple play. Oh, great defense. That's great defense there by Washington. Tries to thread the needle, it does! Oh, and the pass! And Drave Diango on the receiving end, that's about as good as it gets. And this is the team that plays hard and plays together material on the wall, videos, statues, pictures. Just such a, a, a neat thing for the kids to do. Carpenter off the glass and in. You were talking today to a coach in this game, but there's not much you can do against a team like AZ Compass Prep when they are on defensively and offensively. It's one thing you saw all the ranked players, ranked teams. This is a measuring stick for a lot of teams to see where they fit nationally. And Mookie Cook fits away and Jeremy Fears against Andrews, Westry, and Kyle Boswell for scoring points. But he does a little bit of everything really well and he is a put together prospect. Step back for Brandon Hillier coming your way tonight. Camden, the Panthers out of New Jersey taking on Calvary Christian out of Florida. A lot of talent on both of those teams. Zadrak Magaga has a lot of talent as well. Top 50 in the ESPN 100, uncommitted at this point. Keith Stevens in the AAU circuit. Look at this. Daisy Compass Prep playing like they're down 22. Three ball no good, and AZ Compass gets the win 68 to 46 
As Chance Westry, you're looking at him, number two. Six of eight, 15 points, three rebounds, three assists, and three steals for the future Auburn Tiger. Yeah, Chance Westry just showed his all-around game. He did it at both ends, start to finish. He had the focus, the intensity. I like the way he leads AZ Compass Prep. Mookie Cook, one of the top uncommitted prospects in the class, in the junior class. He played well as well. AZ Compass Prep with the win. They'll be in action tomorrow night against La Lumiere. Coming up next, we'll get to see the number one player in the junior class, DJ Wagner and Camden taking on Calvary Christian. Coming up in a few minutes on ESPN Plus. So long from Springfield.